Hi everybody, welcome to today. It's Sunday Live at the Backyard Bird Center. We kicked off our big uh, fall sale yesterday, so no time to film a live in here yesterday. So we thought we would take care of it this afternoon. Uh, question that I got a lot yesterday, and I get a lot uh, about is my theory and my favorite finch seeds. Because I, I, if you've watched the backyard videos that were shot in my backyard and you've heard me talk, uh, goldfinches are the absolute stars of my backyard. I have tons of goldfinches. Um, I'll have over a hundred during the winter months uh, and then you know, I'll have them all year round, at least a dozen or so uh, kind of nesting pair in the area that visit me. And, and so people want to know, you know, what, what do they need to do to, to have that kind of success with American goldfinches because they are extremely popular birds, but also house finches and and in the winter, uh, purple finches can come in and, and even uh, common red poles, things like that. So I thought I would dress finch seed and then I will give you my favorite formula that I use uh, in most feeders. So uh, famously, it, goldfinches are, have the reputation for wanting thistle seed. And I've done whole videos on how what we sell in, in stores and what it, uh, is not really thistle seed, even though it's called thistle seed, because people don't know it if you don't have that on there. On my label, I have it labeled Niger slash thistle because Niger is the correct name for this plant. And, but this was what's known as, and I've tried just putting Niger uh, on a label and people go, well, where's the thistle? So, okay, so again, straighten that out. Whole video, not a thistle plant, not the one, the weed that grows out in farmer's fields and they hate it and they try to get rid of it. This plant is actually a rice derivative uh, and it's grown uh, in really dry conditions like in Ethiopia and countries like that grow it for their oil crop. They crush it and that's the cooking oil they use to cook with in that part of the world. It's all imported into this country. Now again, it's heated to 500 degrees before it's allowed to be sold here. So it kills the plant and it mainly is to kill weed seeds that could possibly be in there and introduce into our country that we don't want. But there are people who only will feed niger seed and so we we sell it although it is not my preference I, I do i feed some of it but i do not feed it and i don't think you have to feed it to attract finches now i do want to right now talk about the two basic kind of feeders we have classic perch feeders that have little, uh, little elliptical shaped holes in them uh, for the seed to come out of and then we have the mesh type feeders if you are a Niger fan, or if you are a fan of mesh feeders, I recommend just straight Niger. I do not recommend the fine sunflower chips that I'm gonna start talking about here soon. So in this type of feeder, I do uh, recommend just feeding straight Niger seed. With that being said, I, I typically don't use that kind of feeder. I typically use the, the classic purchase with the elliptical holes in it. And that leads me to the other seeds that finches will eat, goldfinches will eat, and fine sunflower chips. This is the heart of a sunflower seed that the hull has been removed for you and is in very small pieces. There's different sizes. They are called sunflower kernels as well. That's the heart. The kernel is the heart of a sunflower seed. And they come in different sizes. We sell them in fines mediums and whole hearts the ones like you put on your salad to the salad bar that size but for finches their finches are small birds or delicate birds they like small seed so the fine chips are are favored whenever we talk about feeding gold finches now our best selling finch mix in the store we call it black tie and it is basically 50 50 niger seed and fine sunflower chips now i like it because it does give the birds a diversity of diet nutritional values are different between the two seeds and so and it also gives them a choice to choose between the two it does fit in these classic um, the perch style feeders with the elliptical holes, it works fine for that. It's got good weather protection. The holes aren't very large, so rain, it, it, it's, it's, it's pretty protected against it. Although I do use hoods on my, my finch feeders to even protect it further. Because 
the sunflower chips, I said the hull has been taken off of that for you. If a hull of seed is very vulnerable to moisture, so they can, it, it, the water can absorb in by the, the sunflower chips, either these, the mediums, or the hearts, and they swell. So that's why I don't recommend using anything sunflower chips in the mesh type feeders because the seed can swell and also sunflower chips vary in size a little bit so they're not all real real small so it'll be a little bit bigger and that's why i recommend them more in this kind of a feeder now what's mark's favorite mixture and it's sitting back there on the floor i'm taking it home right now what i do is i get one of each of fine sunflower chips and a black tie and i mix them together so in other words, I prefer more fine sunflower chips. They're higher in oil, they're higher in fat. I find that the birds like them better, but I do keep that little bit of Niger and it reduces the amount of Niger I'm offering, but it gives that diversity of diet and, and preferred choices. If there's a bird that comes up and they really like some Niger seed, it, it's there available for them. But as a whole, the fine sunflower chips, and I think it roots over there nodding their head because they definitely prefer it and it's better for them. It is higher in oil, it is higher in fat, it's grown in this country. So uh, the fine sunflower chips are my preference. So why even sell Niger? Why not just sell the fine sunflower chips? Well, for one thing, squirrels absolutely love fine sunflower chips. And they, if you have squirrel issues, they are going to attack your feeders and chew them and destroy them if you don't have them baffled. My main uh, finch feeder, my 36 inch spiral finch feeder in my house, I have hanging under the eave of my, in front of a family big window. So it, it actually hooks onto my gutter and hangs there. Never had a squirrel in it, never had a raccoon in it, and it's perfectly safe there. Plus the eave gets it, it gives it some rain protection there. So if you are someone who cannot absolutely uh, baffle the squirrels from your feeders like if you feed from your deck that's the only place you can see them and you can't keep squirrels out of your finch feeders niger is a real uh, a solution for uh, people in that situation and we, we know that and and people you know say, oh, i tried to feed the sunflower chips but the squirrels just chewed through every feeder that they, and it and they are it can be a real problem that's why you know we give you the choice niger and and of course i have people who come in all the time saying well if, you, if I don't feed Niger, I don't get finches. Uh, now that one's hard for me to believe. And I think people, if they would try the sunflower chips more, they would have a solution. Now, is that all, all the only seeds that gold finches will eat? No. Just straight black oil sunflower is a great alternative. It is, gold finches will eat it. It has a soft enough seed coat that they can crack it open. Now, of course, it doesn't feed, it feed into the small hold finch feeders. And the man who invented the finch feeder did it originally because he felt sorry for the gold finches because they were getting pushed around in other feeders where, where sunflower mainly was. The bigger birds were chasing off the gold finches and he felt sorry for the little guys. So he came up with the classic tube feeder with small holes and small perches to favor the goldfinches, the smaller seed, and to help keep out the, lo the larger birds. So most bird feeder stations have a, a general all around bird feeder that you know, sunflower is a big star for, but they also usually have at least one, if not two or three finch feeders as well. Those goldfinches are so popular. And this time of year, like we said, house finches are coming in, purple finches are coming in, and in this winter months, it, even crossbills are finches, and they can come in this time of year. Red cross, uh, and red poles, common red poles can be coming in this time of year. And all those are finches that are attracted to the seeds that we are talking about. So, but Niger is, is the classic. Remember, it is not thistle. You don't, and you don't have to feed it to attract goldfinches. You can feed a lot of uh, other seeds that will do the same thing. I don't even think Ruth feeds Niger in your yard anymore. Where she's shaking her head, no, she doesn't even feed any. I, I was all I'm down to is that little bit that I have in one feeder for uh, the mixture of the black tie. This real heavy sunflower chip favored there. So. Um, if you have a secret formula you like, what you prefer to feed to them, oh, a question I will get, I'm going to go ahead and address it, millet. 
people will ask about millet seed. Yes, millet seed, goldfinches will eat it. And I do uh, put out some uh, millet sprays uh, in my bushes for the birds that want or shine and want to stay in there. The problem that I have with mixing millet in, in finch seeds is it attracts house sparrows. And house sparrows will take over your finch feeder and the goldfinches can't get in. And I find that it's just so easy just to leave that millet out uh, out of my finch feeders and just put it on the ground for the juncos and the sparrows. Use it in the millet sprays draped in my bushes near the ground. They, the, the ground feeders love it and it kind of keeps the house sparrows out of my finch feeder switches where I don't want them. So, but they, it, it, finches are so popular and the finch season is really getting started. All the, the Nebraska birds, Dakota birds, the Minnesota birds, those guys are getting pushed by this huge cold front that's coming through. And so we'll have a lot more finches here all winter. Remember, they're not bright yellow. Uh, they've already molted into their their dull winter plumage. So they're more of that olivey color, uh, olivey yellow. And uh, they, they'll be, they'll change come late March or April, they'll change back to that bright yellow. Um, but enjoy feeding them all winter. You can have a lot of them and enjoy them because they're delightful birds. So that's a, that's my theory on, on finch feed. Hope you like it. Uh, send in ideas for future programs because we want to talk about what you want us to talk about. Please give us a like.